Hello everyone, I've got a real treat for you today. I've got miniature versions of Einstein's actual blackboards. This is what he wrote his amazing equations on. Now, of course, the ones he did were much, much bigger. But, you know, these are still magical. It's all relative. And the, um, the thing about Einstein was uh, with these blackboards, once you fill them up, you had to wipe you know, have to wipe them away, you have to remove all those equations. And they thought, wow, that's a, real, that's a real bad thing to do, but if we give it a tap, we can kind of make some of the equations fall to the bottom. You see that? Look. So now we've got all this space we didn't have before, you know, which is, uh, I thought, pretty neat. Now, something else you may not know about Einstein, he was a really, really talented violin player. And uh, now, I can't play any musical instrument. I'm not a musician. Uh, in fact, some people would say I'm not a magician either. How dare they? Uh, but I can almost play the kazoo, so I thought we'd give it a shot. So here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> See if that was that was good enough. It made oh look at that. There's the um, the the song I was just playing. No, that's pretty pretty impressive, isn't it? Now over his over his lifetime, Einstein broke all sorts of laws. He created new theories and uh, he just broke down many of the existing barriers. But one of the one set of laws he would never change because he was a devout Jew was the Ten Commandments. And here we have the Ten Commandments. Should I check those bad boys out? And um, you know he he worked on lots of things over his over his lifetime. And one thing he was working on, uh, pretty much in the later part of his life, that uh, you may not know about, was he was trying to create real objects out of um, out of his equations. And uh, you know here's a coat bottle. Look at this. And it's made out of lots of little equations. You know, it's it's not the real thing, uh, but you know this is. Thank you.